Eon, when people talk about the greatest athlete of all time, you are certainly a candidate for that distinction because you excelled at the highest level of two different sports. Guys like that very rarely come back to coach. I'm talking about the inner sanctum, upper echelon, all-time great Hall of Fame. Maybe he's the best athlete who ever lived, guys. But you decided to come back and, like, give back to the game. Are you surprised? Have you, have you surprised yourself with how quickly you have been able to change the college football landscape? No, Max. I mean, th this is who I am. I'm just giving you guys the opportunity to see it. This is who I've always been. I've always been the help people, help another, help a brother mm -hmm. type of uh, guy. And I've always been that way. I've coached youth football, traveling around the country with hundreds of kids for years. When we made, when I made the Hall of Fame, we took six, seven buses and played three games on the way there. So th this is who I am. The, the country is getting the opportunity to meet Coach Prime now. I've been Coach Prime for at least a decade and a half. So, But I'm thankful. I'm elated. I'm excited. Even shows like this, man, you don't understand how much you help us because our kids want that spotlight. They need that spotlight. And the positivity that we, we glean from an interview like this is second to none. And it's a blessing for our kids. Knowing that you can get, and you know you can get kids because you you prime, man. You're like, Hell, if I can play, I might sign with Jackson State right now. Um, <laughs> Does it make it signing somebody like Travis and getting him along with whatever other top players we're talking about Travis because clearly he's a five star number one player in the country, but getting other players to come to Jackson State does it make it I don't know a, a, a tough decision from a long term standpoint to be able to stay at Jackson State because you change the landscape of college football right now you have done it guys like Hugh Jackson is now at Grambling State. Eddie Georgia, yeah. Tennessee State. So you know what I'm saying, Brian. Mm -hmm. Tyrone Wheatley as well. Uh, okay, Keyshawn, are you asking me, Does it is it tough for me to stay? Or, or will it, I, don't, I don't understand. Will, I guess, make getting a guy like Travis, does it make it tougher? Because they're going to come a calling. They're going to come right, a calling because right. they're going to wake up. The, the five, the, right. you know, the big schools, will it make it tough? They, they have already come a calling. To make that they, decision. They've come a calling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know what? They a lot of those a dollar kids, short if you ask me, but go ahead. <laughs> yeah, a, a, a lot of those kids uh, already want to and desire to. They just were afraid to. Travis is not scared. He ain't never scared. He, he's the bone crusher here in Atlanta. He, he, he has that, that thing about him that he wants to stand out amongst the rest. That's the way he plays the game. That's the way he wanted it. And this decision was the easy one for him he and his and his family but those other kids now they may say you know what why not why not hbcu why not jsu you know why not fam why not mississippi valley why why not some of these other schools that have uh historically produced uh nfl players i'm upset right now because i just saw a statistic the other day some some data that said we only had six draftable players in the whole swag uh for well, HBCUs, period, this year. And that's just flat out ignorant. That means somebody ain't scouting, nobody ain't doing their jobs, and they sleeping on us. And that's ignorant. Six? Pro that, that don't make no sense. Prime, I was going to ask you, as they come calling, how do you emotionally handle that, man? Like, how do you go through, obviously, everybody wants to excel. You are excelling already at what you're doing. But as the bigger schools start calling you, and you know those big brand names are going to say, Prime, we want you. How do you emotionally process that? They, they got to have uh, what I like. That's a, that's a great question. And they got to be about what, about winning and about elevating um, our kids to the next level. And I'm not even concerned. I'm not even on that. I'm not even thinking that way because I'm so happy and elated to be at, at Jackson and what we're doing here. But I'm pretty sure, as a matter of fact, they already have been. They they already have been, and you know that. You y'all ain't crazy, but it has it. it <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't even go no farther, but you know it. I'm. It's not. It's not about me, fellas, because, and I'm gonna say this, and I'm. I, I'm I don't want to get in trouble. It's not. A, it's not about me, but going to a new place and uh, don't affect my lifestyle whatsoever. 
So it has to be about a lot more than that. Hmm. It has to be about a lot more than that. It really has to be about these kids because it don't affect me one way or another, but it would affect my coaches. It would affect them tremendously, but it don't affect me. What does Mike Tannenbaum say? Talent, talent tells you about the ceiling, but character t- or, or, or no talent tells you the floor and character tells you the ceiling, right? That's right. That, that look the character, Deion Sanders. That's why you're having success. I'm watching Saturday prime. I'm going to be tuned in watching y'all take on South Carolina state in front of my tube. That's what I'm going to be doing on Saturday morning. Two prime. Y'all come I'm on like, at 9 a.m. out west. We got to get on the plane. We got to go down to the game. That's what we need to do next year. We need to hey, be there. Hey, Jay, Jay, let we me need tell to, you we, this, We need Jay. to be there. Hold you on. I'm, like I'm left out, right? I see. Okay. I see how oh, No, kid, kid how Jay, you got to hear this one. This is a good one. We got a kid. He's number 13. His name is Malachi Whiteman. I want you to Google him. He plays receiver. Got off to a slow start this year. We grabbed him from Tennessee. Um, that's why you got to be careful how you treat people. When I was on a visit to Florida State years ago, he was there visiting uh, during the Willie Taggart area. And uh, me and his mom hit it off. She good, good folk, good Florida folk. You know, I love my Florida boys. He's from Sarasota, Braden's area. Um, we got him um, this offseason. He came here. But I want you to Google him and watch him play basketball. This kid has it. And he's going to have an option. Key, he's a dog. He's six folk. Six, four and a half wide receivers, just it ain't no joke. Run routes, go get it. But basketball wise, you got to look him up. And I'm telling you, he got an opportunity. He just got to stay Ooh. focused and locked in. <laughs> that was he, got, he has an opportunity. Right now, yeah, he got an opportunity oh to do God. that thing, man. Along with many others. Deion but that's Sanders, one I, I thought Jay would love it because if Jay see his highlights, you know, because Jay know basketball. If he sees his highlights, he goes, say, okay, all right. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.